reaction when uh, Stoops told you you're the guy? Uh, relief. Um, super excited. It's a great opportunity. It's something I wanted to my life. And to have this kind of opportunity is awesome. I'm super excited. Did you expect it when they announced the kid? Um, I don't know. Not that, it's not that I didn't expect it. Um, you know, the only thing I can worry about is how I'm playing. Um, I felt like I gave everything I had. Tell us 110% of what I got, and I found peace of mind. It sounded like he kind of messed with you a little bit at first. Can you talk about like, Yeah, he did. Um, last year, I guess around this time, the uh, race was between me, Jalen, and Max. Um, they brought me in there. It was like, hey, you know, they're, they're, they're doing a good job. There's still some stuff you need to work on before you can really make I said, all right, got it. So you know, this entire time I went out and fixed you know, everything that, that he had said. So I get in there Monday morning. Or actually, we all get up there, you know, and we separate all of us on the list. And it was office. He sits me down and he's like, hey, you know, I last year at this time, I brought you down here. I brought you, brought you over here and I told you you need to get better. He said, unfortunately, I'm going to have to ask you to do the same thing. And, like, all the, all the, all the color, like, <laughs> like, it was bad. Like, I was like, oh, my gosh. Then he said, just kidding. And then, you know, immediately, I wanted to, yeah, it was, I'm glad I was sitting down. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Is that, like, the meanest thing that's ever happened Yeah, to I mean, I don't know. It was, I'm glad that he said, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. yesterday, a lot of guys, you know, talked to Jared Lorenz and uh, Mark Coach Duke said the same thing. It would have been easy for you to kind of quit at this point last year, so kind of give up on it. Why didn't you? What's your um, you know, I'm, I've been Kentucky through through my entire life. Uh, I've heard no a lot. It was just uh, the last time that I wanted to hear uh, I, was, I was told things that I needed to get better at. And I went out and I got better, better at them, and I was here. But what were those things? What did they tell you, and where do you feel like you could improve? I mean, just with everything, you know, everything fundamental. You have to be fundamental, you have to be perfect, you have to be consistent, you have to be better, you have to be change, you have to get my head on straight, and really, really go after this thing. You've improved a lot, you know, it's well noted, but moving forward, I know it's not a finished product. What's your primary focus? Uh, I mean, this is just the beginning. Uh, right now, I'm focused on tennis part. Uh, uh, years ago, Patrick, when you leave the team with a touchdown on your first drive in the state, do you think it's going to be this long when you're out there starting the first game? I mean, if you got it the time, uh, you know, but that's, that's the way that you spell. That's what I have to do. I just have to react to what happens. This Saturday will be the first time I'm on the field since, uh, since Tennessee a year and a half ago. So it's going to be, it's going to be a, little, a little different, but it's going to be fun. So. Who's the first person you called or texted? Uh, my dad. My dad, uh, my dad lost his father when he was 18 years old. And he was a huge football fan. So I texted him. I said, Papa Tom is hard to get Patrick, now that you're the guy, can you be more vocal and louder and take control, which you can't do with the job? You know, I've been vocal since I've been here. Uh, you know, whether, whether other guys find me more credible, because I'm sorry, that might be the case. But, uh, my attitude has not changed since the last two days. Did you feel, did you feel looser these last two days? For sure. And then you're the guy? No question. No question. I, mean, I felt like you know, I was a senior in high school. Uh, I was just you know, able to, to, to play and just make things. That's it. Well, well, you know, last year it was kind of a different circumstance. I was on the sideline. I wasn't happy. I was on the sideline. I didn't didn't let my you know attitude try to affect anybody else. So, you know, my job being on the sideline was to get everybody else ready to play because I didn't have to. Do so, be soft. It wasn't going to help anybody. Jared said you're 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 not the little Patrick who came here a couple of years ago. He thought you had grown up a lot in terms of being a, a man. How what's that process for you? It's a mat whole maturation process. There's the ups and downs. Like I said, when I got here, I was a junior kid. 
playing for the first time in my it was crazy. Now, you know, I've been here for going on my third year in school, and I definitely feel like everything is, you know, like quicker, sharper, and, and it's easier to make decisions. How much the outside work that you got over the summer with the quarterback coaches? How much did that help you? An unbelievable amount. I would not be sitting right here talking to y'all if I did not. What, what, what primarily did he help you? Well, just with everything that Coach Wallace talked about, he included uh, Coach Brown, the NCAA, Coach Wallace, and 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 Coach just to clarify, what is, what is it you call your dad's father? Papa John. I never met him. How do you spell that? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, P-A-T-O-M-Y. Okay. Now that, uh, now that you're the guy, when things don't go as well as Coach Brown would like, like Christ is like today, do you have a different relationship with him now that you're the quarterback of the offense when things don't go well? Um... Not really. I mean, you know, I've always been a quarterback. You know, and I'm just the guy that runs out, runs out there with the ones. A couple more. But um, with us, you know, us as a team, you know, we, uh, we're excited you know, about tennis and all you know, we can have to play as hard as we possibly can. Have you contacted Donnie since this? I have, yeah. I, I've texted him a couple times. And he was just super excited for me. He was over at his house Sunday night. Uh, and just kind of talked about the whole thing. You know, so, you know, the haze in the bar. You could have possibly got your gun. It's not in your hands. I knew that. I said, you find peace with that. That is when you first started two years ago. There wasn't that spread attack and you put a different coach. Right. How do, you, how do you fit into the spread attack? And that's got to be a nice and good quarterback to have to an offense like this. Yeah, I mean, you know, as a freshman, it's hard to learn that offensive idea. It's more tempting to learn freshman. I guess it's what you said. you know what the spread uh, is going to be. I try to at least. I'd like to say I can run the ball a little bit um, you know, when I have to. Um, you know, the, the spread just opens us up, opens up more running lanes, and once you put the ball in your playmaker's hands, you've got great athletes on the outside and inside. It's, it's nice to uh, get the ball. Okay, folks, thanks. You can get to a crown. Appreciate you guys.